Welcome back, you too. It is a great day to be different. So that's what we are going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. We have the TPOB XO Pro Clippers. Yes, sir. We're going to slice that open. We're going to rip that off. And we're going to see what's inside. It's a little struggle to get these things off. To get these things open. But there we go. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. We don't need that. But we do need that. Set that to the side. I'm going to show you guys what's underneath all that foam. You got your Phillips head. You have your premium guards, which I do not care for, but we do have them. Here goes your charging brick, which I cannot use over here in the US where I'm at. You got your double-sided Type-C, your two-pronged charger, which we will get to later on. You got your oil, your brush, and here goes a good look at the charging dock. Yes, sir, but here is the main act right here, man. TBLB Clipper. XO Pro, as you can see right here. Nice. It's a nice clipper. Very, very nice clipper. You got your two charging options down there at the bottom. You got your XO blade. Yes, sir. But here is the actual problem that I have. As you guys can see, it does not turn on out of the box. LED does not work. It does not flash. It did not turn on. Nothing happened. So, here you guys go. I'm going to give you guys a better look. If you do have, as you can see right there, it is flashing, showing that it's charging. If you do have a Babyliss charger, they plug right into each other. But, I eventually got the clipper to work. And I'll talk more about that later on in the video but here goes how they cut they did a really good job so I'm gonna speed through this and we will be back at the end of the haircut so you guys can know exactly how I feel about them
So I have the TPO BXO Pro Clippers right here in my hands, man. And as you guys can see, they did a great job on the task that I put them up to. So that was the very first haircut I did with them. And as you guys can see before the haircut that straight out of the box, absolutely dead, they did not work. I could not get these things to work when they came out of the box. Okay, so my first option is to obviously charge them. Battery's dead, no issues. Just gonna use the tools that came with it We plug it in. So plugged it in for a few couple hours, which I did not get on camera, obviously, because you're not expecting it not to work. You're not hoping for your tools to fail when you get it straight, brand new out of the box like that. So I plugged it in through the two prong plug-in, let it sit for a little bit, came back, tried to turn it on, did not turn on, still completely dead, did not work, just like it did not out of the box, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, something is wrong with this clipper already. So luckily this thing came with two charging options. So my next step then was to, to plug in the type C option. So we did that, same thing, let it sit for a little bit, came back to it, and then the clipper turned on. So the clipper came dead, tried one option, didn't work, tried the other option, did work. So we were able to revive the clipper, make it work. No issues from there, right? So I'm bringing that point up because the clipper does come with a charging dock. But the only issue with that is this clipper came faulty. This clipper came with a two prong option that does not work. That is an issue. Luckily, I was able to catch it on camera for the most part, it not working out of the box. But I will also put footage of me leaving the clipper on the charging dock overnight and coming back the next morning and still seeing that the clipper is flashing. So yes, when you plug it in through the two prong, it indicates that it is charging, but it does not, it is not actually charging. It just shows that it is. And even if you, it's supposed to take two hours to charge, even if you come back 12 hours later, it is still flashing as if it is working. Unfortunately, mine came faulty and the charging dock option does not work for these. So even with these having a charging dock option, I still, the only way that I can get these things to charge is using the type C. And I reached out to TPOB. He responded, didn't really seem to care. He actually almost basically blamed me for why it was not working. Uh, he started pointing out the fact that he could tell that the blades were differently. He asked me what happened, what's wrong with them. And I could do nothing but explain to him that I didn't do anything because the blades have nothing to do with the electronics. Anything mechanical on here is has nothing to do with the battery or the plugins, any electronic parts. So it was almost as if I was the problem they came faulty out of the box, just like you see on camera. I show that it is not charging. I have video of it not charging, just like you see in this video. I also told him what the issue was. I explained to him that the type C was working. I was able to get the clipper to work, but I, the charging option isn't, isn't working. So if I get a clipper that comes with a charging dock, I should be able to use the charging dock. The charging dock should work. And if it does not work, it is in, my understanding that it is up to the company to be able to replace that part or replace the clipper or replace whatever that is not working all in all after all that the only issue i have the two prong charging port i can't use that to plug in it does not work even if i plug it in i cannot use it on the charging dock so it still has a charging option so i can still use the clipper with the type c but great clipper actually my favorite clipper right now i am not even gonna front same thing with my trimmers the tpob xo trimmers these right here that i already did a review on a couple days ago man these things go crazy together i i am not gonna lie i have took everything off of my custom babless fx's and i put them on here because the aesthetics of this is just crazy it's beautiful the ergonomics is crazy it cuts really really well it's quiet as hell it blends softly nice and beautiful it 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 just works it fits really good in my hand everything the thumb grip i added some more grips on here one of the reasons why because it gives me grip obviously because when you have gloves on it can be a little slippery with this all metal body i also use the grips as well to kind of get rid of some of the 
over branding by TPOB, which I'm not too fond of, but great, great clipper. Hands down, definitely my go-to right now. Unfortunately, the charging dock does not work. It irritates my soul that it does not work, but that's how good that this clipper is. I am willing to go ahead and just use the type C right now to keep it charging, to be able to keep this on my station and put it in rotation, right? Works very well. In my opinion, much better than the TPOB X Clipper. This is the XO, and this is the big brother of the X Clipper. Basically the same thing, but it comes with other options like the charging dock. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't work. But if yours works, you get the perks of having a charging dock, and you get the perks of, I think it looks a little bit better. I like how this, this right here fits really nice in the hand at the bottom. It rounds off. I didn't like the hook but this thing just feels so much ergonomically better. If the weight feels better, it feels much more balanced. And when I cut with them, absolute beast. So other than that, great clippers. Would I recommend these clippers to upcoming barbers? Yes. If you can get you a pair, get you a pair in the hopes that this thing works. For an upcoming barber trying to get some nice premium clippers, I would recommend that you get these all day long, except if you are in the US, Get these off of Amazon because they have much better return policies and they're much better customer service when it comes to taking care of issues that come with the clipper. Amazon will replace them and nine times out of 10, basically no questions asked. You get your return dates. You can give it right back. They'll give you your money back or they'll swap them. They'll refund you. Do whatever they're going to do with no problems and you will have a much better experience with issues that come out of the box. He's not too friendly because the conversation that I had on Instagram, he, yeah, he got a little attitude. He's not that great to work with. So if you are going to buy TPOB trimmers, buy TPOB products, buy them off of Amazon because you won't have to deal with him personally. Give your money to Amazon. Don't go to the website. It's not worth it. Other than that, Products are good. They have good products and uh, they are basically just duplicates of other premium products that are already out here. Main reason why you would want to buy a TPOB product is because the discounted prices. So again, keep in mind, you get what you pay for. So when you're dealing with discounted prices, you deal with discounted attitudes and you deal with discounted customer service. So that's what comes with the, with the territory. Spend your money at Amazon get the same product, but get better customer service, better return policies, and you don't have to deal with too much. So go get you a pair of clippers if you can. Go get you a pair of the TPOB XO Pros. Fire, 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 fire. Other than that, hope you guys like the haircut. Hope you guys like the rant. Appreciate you guys for staying tuned. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you guys got to do to keep me on your timeline, man. It's crispy. And we out, man. Peace.